day I started a new journal and um, I bought it and on the cover of the journal it says reflections and I was going through names of what I wanted to name my journal because I name all of my journals and this journal I named it you thrive and I am flourishing I don't know well I do know what the significance of the name is but if I have to be completely honest with you and maybe this honesty is needed because somebody else can relate I have no clue what I'm doing I have no clue where I'm at I have no clue what's next for me and a couple years ago if you asked me the question where do you think you're gonna be in five years I could tell you everything I could tell you everything maybe even a couple months ago I could have told you this whole vision that I see for myself but honestly the vision is distorted and I have no clue like I have a sense of where I'm going but it's not even just that I don't know how I'm gonna get there I just don't know when things you know will like ever turn around for me and um I made an audio about how your blessing might not show up as you expect it to but sometimes a blessing showing up exactly how you expected it to or a blessing like a particular blessing showing up is exactly what you need to get back right with God it's exactly what you need to get back to being yourself and who you are and so when we face so much delay and so much disappointment and so much letdown it's just like sometimes I'm like honestly if I could be honest sometimes I'm just like I don't even know why I try I don't know why I try I don't know why I keep getting back up like I don't know why I don't just stay in a pit and just be there because honestly no one talks about everyone's like get up keep going and no one talks about like just the strength the physical the mental the spiritual like no one talks about how much strength it truly takes to get yourself up after being disappointed time and time again delayed time and time again like have you ever been in that place where you just don't want to hope anymore because you know that if your hope is destroyed one more time like you probably can never get back to that place like i wanted to hope for something but i'm like if this thing doesn't happen and i'm hoping and i'm getting my hopes up like i don't think i'll ever be able to really hope again and i know some people might think that sounds extra but when you've constantly put your hope in things that have failed and you've tried everything and you've let back and you've surrendered and it still hasn't worked like you begin to wonder if everything that you're doing is even worth it and so in the beginning i mentioned about <clears throat> how I had a journal and honestly I've been journaling for three years and it's the best decision that I've ever made in my life and so for three days I wasn't journaling because I was waiting for my journal to come in to get in stock so I wasn't journaling in it and it was specifically for three days and I'm not even gonna lie I almost went crazy in those three days and it just made me realize like how much journaling has really saved me how much journaling has really put me in the right state of mind how much journaling has really made me care a lot more about myself like before I would just talk to myself about a situation or walk it off or whatever but it would never truly be resolved and then when I picked up that paper and I picked up that pen and I began to journal and I began to remove the opinions I began to remove the judgment I began to remove any outside voice and I was just purely myself and I just purely wrote what was on my mind like it's honestly such a freeing process and I mean if you're a super secretive person and you're really afraid of people like reading a journal then you can like put a lock on your journal I do not have that my journal is just open it's out and above and you know if anybody is disrespectful enough to go and touch my journal then it is what it is but nobody hasn't done it to my knowledge and um but it's just something that I'm carrying everywhere with me and so because I got this new journal I was looking at it today and I'm like wow like this is because i'm recording this on february 29th happy leap year but um i was like this is the end of the month and in three months i'm going to graduate from high school and that experience is going to be in my journal and then in five months i'm going to go to university and that experience is going to be my journal and then in um i think it's like six months i'm going to be um 18 and that's going to be in my journal and i'm going to live alone for the first time and that's going to be my journal and so just 
the, my journal has given me a lot of joy recently and it's just some of like just getting my journal a new journal has been a really good thing that's happened in my life so far and I really needed a good thing to happen in my life and so just looking at my journal I guess it gave me a lot of hope because I'm just like you know so much first times and so much ending is happening but so much beautiful beginnings is starting and I'm so blessed to be able to have a journal and have that all in one place and I think this might be one of my favorite journals I have two favorite journals um, out of the five that I have but I think this might be one of my favorite just because it is going to document literally a very pivotal and transitional time in my life and so even when you know right now I'm uncertain and I don't know how I'm going to get there I do know that I'm going to get there and just this journal is such a nice physical representation that I don't know what's going to be in between the pages but I do know that I'm going to make it to my end, the end of my journal and it's going to be a very very beautiful journey and I can't wait to see where I go even if there is uncertainty in this moment.